the best way to get there is to be the absolute best version of yourself. To strive to be the best version of you every single day. And don't give up on that. Don't give up on you. Because if you're giving up on your goals and what you want for yourself, you're giving up on yourself. You can look but don't touch it. Yeah. As long as we have to be the same color so that we can be easily compared and the lights wash us out they're so bright on stage that you have to have some color like my natural skin color I would look pale compared to the other girls so that's why I get a tan and then now my bare face is gonna get painted by Nancy J the best makeup artist ever highly 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 recommend if you can book her for your shows you are doing yourself a favor, I promise you. She's incredible. Um, and just the sweetest lady ever. But this is like the final touch before we head to stage. We're almost there. It's almost time. It is 11.30. And we should be heading to backstage around 12. So I might be running a little late, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> And then pre-judging starts at 1.30, the men's bodybuilding will go on first, and then it's the bikini girls, time to shine, so it's almost time to get the show on the road. Bodybuilding goes first, so we're gonna peek at how she's looking, make some final decisions before. How are we uh, feeling? How are we, are we on? Are we good? We've been on all day, so I don't expect <laughs> that to change. So okay. now we just get to go enjoy all the hard work she's doing. Let's do it. It's game time. <laughs>
Camille, and 13, Alessia. Four and one switch, four and one switch. Do a 180, face that back wall. Walk halfway back and hold it when you get there. Face forward and walk it back. Four and three switch. Darja and Romina switch right next to each other. Woo! Now do a 180, face that back wall. Face forward. Marcia and Beatrice switch. Marcia and Beatrice switch. Four and nine switch. Darja and Marcia switch right next to each other. No, right next to each other. The other way. Okay, let's do 180. Face that back wall. Walk halfway back and over and get there. Face forward and walk back. Take a step back to either side. Brandon Gaza switch. Hey guys, here we are in Ohio, the 2020 Arnold Deiraja. We just did this pre-judging thing, but we wanted to give you guys an inside look, kind of behind the scenes. You can go ahead. Sorry, guys. No, no, I'm good. Behind the scenes look at what actually goes into like the day of a bikini competitor. Now this is a very special comp competition. Only 16 girls, um, invitation only. So it's not a true like day in the life of a competitor. But no, it's not. <laughs> we, we got to see her go get her makeup done with Miss Bikini Olympia and we got to share a, yeah, that was cool. a little bit of like what goes into like, you know, the backstage. Not allowed to film there this year, but just the idea of spending an entire day as a bikini competitor, pre-judging's done. And now we're gonna go back to the finals. So where's your head at? 
Right now, I'm just, I want to keep it tight. I want to keep it looking good because they do rejudge finals live. So, you know, I kind of, I want to scoot into that top 10 spot. Yeah. I want to, I want to really, I want to claim that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can come to a competition and you can be happy or sad, but it's not going to really benefit you unless you look at every opportunity you can to get better. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back to tonight a little bit better, get some feedback, and find out what it's going to take for us to be walking away a champion yeah. of a show like this. And it's the first time I've been compared to women of this caliber in yeah. this kind of competition. So, feedback from the show is going to be really paramount for how we're going to take the rest of this year. And then we still have the Olympia. So, again, yeah. huge stage very competitive athletes so well and this is also going to set the stage for what shows we decide to compete at this year you know yeah. she's only her third pro show so we're still very much about figuring out where she fits in the sport and so that's going to involve getting on of different stages getting on in front of all the top IFBB pro judges so that we can make those changes and come back better yeah so. and i'm i'm not disappointed we brought our best this is well, the we're best we've done yet. we're not done yeah, yet yeah we're not done yet <laughs> awesome all right, guys. So that is it, the end of the Miss Bikini International competition. My first one. So what do you think of the experience? It's definitely a lot of fire. Yeah. I mean, we came in, I think, at the best we've ever come in. We've made improvements. Yeah. This is the best we've ever looked. And, you know, we'll just get the feedback. But Yeah, I'm super curious. I just think there was a lot of physiques that you favorably compared against. Um, you know, so we're just going to have to see what our next move should be, talk to the judges. But... Yeah. The good thing is you're you're healthy and happy. Right? And we just got off probably the most prestigious stage, you know, in all of bikini. Absolutely. The most elite. Of course, we're already qualified for the Olympia. So right. we're not done yet. That's yeah. The fun part. So yes, don't get me wrong. We wanted to win the show. Yeah. We come to win every show, but we're also realistic. This is an amazing division. I mean, exactly. Those girls are stunning. They just have great and they're shape. vets. They've been doing this yeah. for a lot longer than me. Yeah. And you know, I still have a lot to learn. We still have a lot to learn. Yeah. yeah, honestly, this was my first time at a competition of this caliber. Probably a lot of my first times at like some of the bigger shows is going to be with you, so we're going to figure things out along the way. Yeah. Um, you know, that's part of it. That's part of the learning process. So For sure. that's it. Like an entire day as a bikini competitor, you know, hair, makeup, tanning. It's work. <laughs> yeah, getting off stage, getting on stage, going back to the hotel, coming back. I mean, um, you know, thankfully this is a one-day show. Yeah. So. 
It was a two-day show. I don't even. I'm already tired. I'm pooped. But you know, <laughs> it was fun though backstage. You know, I got to. I brought my brownies back there. I cut them up and I shared them with the girls. And yeah, unfortunately, we weren't able to get any uh, footage backstage. Yeah. They weren't really letting anyone back there other than the competitors right. and like Arnold. Um, so I get it, but it would have been cool to see that, but I'm glad you guys got to hang out. Yeah, I mean, especially with people that I've looked up to in the sport since I started, like Angelica. <laughs> the one thing I've noticed about the pro bikini competitors at shows, there does seem to be like a bond. It's not like a like catty sure. like vibe backstage. It's all friendly, and yeah. for the most part, everyone just wants to see everyone do well. For sure. It's, it's really nice to see. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm the new kid on the block, too, and I didn't really feel... Out of place. No. I, well, I think some of that comes down to like people knew about you. You know, people were talking about you coming to the show, so they were That's they true. were looking at your pictures and scoping you out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it from this year's Arnold. I think we got tomorrow to just hang out since there's no expo. Just yeah. do our own thing, get some food, um, and then put a plan into action because we're not done this year. So. We got the O. Let's do it. Let's do it. See you guys. <laughs>